Okay, as we all know, when we have a negative number times a negative number, we will always get a positive number. But have you ever thought about what if we have a negative number raised to a negative power? What kind of number are we going to get? Positive? Negative? Something else? I don't know. You should pause the video and think about this first before you continue to watch the video. Done? Alright, the answer is in fact, we can actually have three possibilities. The first one is, this right here can be negative. The second one is, this right here can be positive. And the third one is, the result can be imaginary. Yeah, so I'm just going to give you guys an example for each one. So here's the first one. I will give you an example that a negative number raised to a negative number, and we end up with a negative result. And you can pick different numbers for here and here, or the same number, doesn't matter. I am going to just pick the same number for the first example. Let's say we have negative 3 raised to a negative 3. Let's see, how do we work this out? Take care of the negative exponent first. Bring this down to the denominator. So we have 1 over this stays. But I will change the negative 3 power to a positive 3 power on the bottom like this. Now to work this out, negative 3 to the third power, just negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 which is negative 27 on the bottom and then we still have the 1 on the top so as you can see this right here is in fact negative 1 over 27 same thing but I just want to point out that this is negative done for the first example if you don't want the base and the power to be the same you can pick negative 5 and then raise to a negative 3 power or maybe just negative 1 to a negative 3 power Yeah. anyway the second case is when we have a negative number raised to a negative power and we end up with a positive result let's just go ahead and pick different numbers this time let's say we have negative 4 raised to a negative 2 power how's that okay similar thing right so take care of the negative exponent here first we will have 1 over this is negative 4 but this will be a positive 2 power Negative 4 to the second power, we do negative 4 times negative 4, but negative times negative is positive. We will get 16, positive 16 on the bottom, and we still have the 1 on the top. 1 over 16 is positive, and we are done. Okay, the third situation is when we have a negative number raised to a negative number, we get an imaginary number. All right, so let's see how can we do it. Negative one, negative one. No, that's not going to work. I'm going to give you, let's say, negative, let's do negative four. And then I'll change that to negative one half. If you want the numbers to be the same, you can pick negative one half inside. But this right here, I think works out slightly nicer. So anyway. Take care of the negative power first, so we will have 1 over negative 4, and this right here is positive 1 half power, but positive 1 half power is what? It becomes the square root. Yes, square root and we have the negative 4 inside. Yeah, and you see what's negative 4 of, inside of the square root? We get, a we get a complex number, right? So this right here becomes the bottom. This right here will give us the i, and then square root of 4 is 2, and then on the top we still have the 1. So we see that we have 1 over 2i, but we don't want the i to be on the bottom. Let's just go ahead and multiply the i on the bottom and on the top. Then we see that i times i, by definition, this right here is i squared, which is equal to negative 1. So all in all, we can simplify this, we'll get negative and then 1 over 2 and then i so this is the standard form of that complex number but in here it's just purely imaginary because we have the i so this is not negative number even though you see a negative but because of this i is imaginary so these are the three possibilities when we have a negative number raised to a negative number if you want to have some challenge Try to think about what if we have a positive number to a positive number.